we're going to teach you the basics of beating the defender in one-on-one -on -one situations. So when you're facing a defender in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you want to make sure that you have the upper hand. And you kind of already do because you have the ball, meaning that you have a big advantage and you have the initiative. And you want to make sure that the defender has to guess and react to whatever you decide to do. And you can do that by attacking them directly and with a clear intent and purpose of dribbling around them. Because by doing that, you show them that you're not afraid of taking them on in a direct duel and that you intend to beat them and exploit whatever space is around them. In other words, if you come directly at the defender, you have the initiative. He or she has to react, whereas if you show hesitation or indecisiveness, you're going to lose momentum and you're going to be a lot easier to close down. Step two is to make sure that not only do you go directly at them, but you do so at speed. Because that means that at least most defenders will start to contain you and to backtrack. And that gives you the advantage because the defender won't be able to run as fast backwards as he or she will going forwards. Now also, running at speed doesn't mean that you should flat out sprint. What I want you to do is go at a decent speed while you keep the ball close and touch it with every step with the outside of your foot. Because that means that if the defender decides to make a tackle or stick out his foot something, you can react very quickly with an explosive acceleration. And that's good, that gives you the initiative. Also, of course, if your touch and control is good enough, try and look up from the ball so you look a little bit ahead of the ball, meaning that you can see both what you're doing with the ball and the defender, making it 10 times easier to react if Phil decides to tackle me. So those are the basics. Go directly at the defender at speed while you keep the ball close. But at some point though, you want to make something happen. You want to make a dribble. But the big question is, which direction do you go and when do you make your move? Well, of course, if the defender tries to make a tackle, things are very simple. You just need to get the hell out of the way with a quick reaction and a quick acceleration. But if the defender gives you the initiative by keeping on backtracking, at some point, you're gonna have to, well, make a dribble. What's important here is that when you make your move, you do it with an explosive acceleration, meaning that you change your speed very, very quickly. And that's also why when you go directly at the defender, you need to have that extra gear to make that explosive acceleration. Now that alone might get you past the defender to do the job, but you can also actually get an extra advantage by watching the defender's body, and in particular, his or her hips. Especially if they're shaking like Phil's. Now, most defenders, at least the decent ones, will angle their bodies in order to show you either outside or inside. And you can exploit that in one-on-one -on -one situations because you want to go to their so-called weak side, which is a side that's opposite to where they're facing and where their hips are open. So as Phil is showing me outside, I want to cut to the inside, and vice versa, if he's showing me inside, I want to cut to the outside. Because if I do that, it means that Phil will have to turn in the other direction because he wants to chase after me running forwards because you can run much faster, like I told you earlier. And of course, the key moment to strike is when Phil has the weight on the foot that's facing away from where I want to go. So again, if I want to go to his inside, I can make a body feint, show him there and go inside because that puts his weight here and he's stuck, meaning that I'm gone. So the short version is that you need to be direct, go with speed, keep the ball close and catch the defender with his weight on the wrong foot. And you're pretty good to go, to go out and beat defenders in one-on-one -on -one situations. So go out and use the whole practicing to build your confidence. And I'm pretty sure that you're gonna see a big improvement in absolutely no time. But guys, 
What should we teach you next? As always, let me know in the comment section right down below. Remember that you can buy the Adidas Showpiece pack via the link to Unisport right over there. And then of course, you should make sure you've subscribed to the channel with the notifications on. And maybe also go and check the playlist over there if you want to keep continue learning and improving as a football player. And with those words, I'll be signing off, Algeria.